It's really amazing being part uh, here, and especially the music. Although we couldn't understand each other's language, but uh, I think because we were all praising God and we were all worshiping God, so it was really amazing. And I think this is the best platform on behalf of Manchester Cathedral to arrange such events. And it's so great and exciting when you can praise the Lord, we can worship all together, all from different areas but with the same heart and with the same reason. Cultural diversity is important to the Church of England because it teaches us the Christian value of tolerance and understanding. It teaches us not only how to live next to one another but with one another in a community. By sharing our faith practices we are brought closer to God and we honor his teaching of compassion and understanding. Right at the beginning of the birth of the church on the day of Pentecost, uh, an amazing thing happened because the Holy Spirit came um, and people heard uh, the good news about Jesus in their own mother tongues. Um, and there is something very, very special uh, when people can uh, hear about God in their own mother tongue and worship God in their own mother tongue. Well, cultural diversity is hugely important to the Church of England because it's been important to the Church ever since the Church began. And so it's no different for Manchester or for England today uh, than it was 2,000 years ago. Um, but, and Manchester itself is a very diverse city, probably one of the most diverse cities in Europe. We have here people who've come from all parts of the world our task as a church is to, is to meet them and to engage with them, to enable them to express their love of God through the culture that they've, they've grown up in and inherited, not simply through an English culture. The Cultural Diversity Worship Festival was an attempt to showcase the diversity within the Church of England and to do this with a public audience. The festival was important because it gave minority groups a platform to share their practices with the community. We had a worship from the Korean church, the Persian church, and the Asian church. We used the music as a way to celebrate different practices, but also as a way to connect people through the universal language of music. My favorite moment of today was definitely the Persian church. I enjoyed their worship today. I think because uh, it's so different between uh, nations, I guess, between the Korean and the uh, Indian and the Persian church that played today. So it was, it was nice to hear a different church play their music. When you have people from different cultural backgrounds, what it uh, helps people to be and to, and to see is that being human and relating to one another can be done in all sorts of different ways. People from different and diverse cultural backgrounds can bring a richness uh, to our human existence and a richness to our community. And cultural diversity will be very much a part of the Church of England and growing and developing in the, in the future. We will continue as a diocese to 
uh, set aside resources and to create opportunities uh, to engage with those who've come from very different backgrounds than mine, uh, but yet who wish to journey with us in uh, following Jesus Christ here in this city in this present day and age. In future, we want to create a network of clergy who speak different language. This way we can support the people no matter what language they speak, and language will not become a barrier to worship. Oh Lord, praises to you.